Mitch, I admire anyone with the courage to be different, and your beard certainly set you apart. Has it made you the butt of any jokes? Oh, very much so, the, the Ray, uh, but very good natured, though. There was a one time I was driving down Grand Central Parkway, past the old United Nations building at Lake Success, and a cop pulled up and says, where do you think you're going? He says, you United Nations guys think you can get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> Figuring I had diplomatic immunity, and truth was, I got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, and of course, there's another time I went into this marvelous uh, delicatessen on 7th Avenue. It's uh, called the Stage Delicatessen. It's run by a wonderful man named Max Asnes. And Fred Allen, who had his breakfast there every morning, uh, nicknamed him the Corned Beef Confucius. <laughs> and uh, uh, one time I had changed my clothes and had a sandwich and a bottle of beer, and I came to pay the check, and I didn't have an, any money in my pants. And I said to his sister, who was at the cash register, I said, Lily, I'm terribly sorry, I have no money, but if you want to, I'll write you a check. And I reached into my pocket, and she says, oh, no, Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller, for 65 cents, you won't shave the beard off. <laughs> Whereupon Max says, he says, Lily, how do you know that without the beard, he doesn't owe us more than 65 cents? <laughs> uh -huh.